The Dragon Seed. Eileen Belserion, the sole creator of Dragon Slayer magic and one of the very first mages to utilize such a magic, a magic powerful enough to slay a beast as ferocious as a dragon, the queen of the dragons 400 years prior to where we are in the story right now, and just to top it all off, none other than Urza Scarlet's mother. Now to say the very least, the past two chapters of Fairy Tale have been some of the most insane chapters of the year and have given a glimpse into what makes up Eileen and Urza's past. Fairy Tale chapter 514 left us off in an absolutely huge cliffhanger which will allow us to speculate for upwards of two weeks, seeing as chapter 515 of fairy tale will actually sadly not be released for two weeks nevertheless though we essentially left off with eileen beginning the transformation that will inevitably turn her into a dragon if something doesn't take place to stop it and while all this is happening eileen's daughter urza is actually in her womb the source of this transformation is actually coming from something called a dragon seed. Now, when the seed actually begins to sprout, it actually marks the human's last moments as a human before a dragon form takes the place formerly occupied by a human form. Now, there's no going back whatsoever from this transformation. Once transformed into a dragon, you will stay a dragon for eternity. Although Eileen does seem to be taking part in this irreversible transformation into a dragon, fast forward 400 years and, uh... Well, she isn't a dragon, so somehow, Eileen must have prevented this transformation from actually taking full effect, and to this day, remains a human, but the question is... How did she prevent it? Well, to start, we also have to ask what happened to her Dragon Slayer magic. Now, I feel as if there's a huge correlation between why Eileen remains a human to this day and why she uses debatably weaker enchantment magic over something as strong as Dragon Slayer magic. I highly doubt a few chapters down the line, she'll just, you know, pull Dragon Slayer magic out of her tits and be all like, yo, I have this strong magic that I haven't been using ever since I was introduced into the series, but I'm gonna use it now, because fucking fairy tale. Now, I feel as if the Dragon Seed actually does play a very very, very large part when it comes to her not actually utilizing the Dragon Slayer magic that she formerly had, and the transformation not taking full effect as well. Somehow, I believe the Dragon Seed was actually extracted from her body. First of all, if this were to be the case, it would explain why Eileen has a huge gash down her abdomen. Many people were trying to say that could be from a C-section where Urza was actually taken out of Eileen's body as opposed to a normal birth process. However, that doesn't really make much sense to me, and overall, if the gash came from the extraction of the dragon seed, which took place to prevent Eileen from turning into a dragon, it would make a lot more sense. And secondly, I believe that the dragon seed itself could actually somehow be linked to Natsu and the rest of the dragon slayers running the risk of turning into a full-fledged dragon, and why the dragons actually went missing for seven years. Now, we already know that they were creating antibodies within the dragon slayer's bodies, but... For what? Like, for what reason? What was inside the Dragon Slayers that caused them to run the risk of turning into a dragon to begin with? That's right. The Dragon Seed. The antibodies were made to prevent the Dragon Seed from sprouting and causing Dragon Slayers to turn into full-fledged dragons, much like Eileen almost did all those years ago. Now, this actually would not be the case for all of the Dragon Slayers, specifically actually referring to the second generation ones such as Loxus and Cobra. However, I still do think that as Dragon Slayers, they still have a Dragon Seed, but considering the fact that they don't run the risk of turning into a dragon to begin with, I believe that the Seed could actually have the antibodies already attached to it. To gain the ability to begin with to use Dragon Slayer magic, according to Makara, something actually had to be implanted to the bodies of the Dragon Slayers. Now, the question is, what was this thing that was implanted into the dragon's bodies? Well, you guessed it. It is the Dragon Seed. A version of the seed, though, which has the antibodies already attached to it to assure the user does not turn into a dragon. Nevertheless, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to click that like button and as well, subscribe for more fairy tale content. Peace.